For a man who was born on a sleigh, it's been quite a ride for Paul Henderson. After winning the 1962 Memorial Cup with the Hamilton Red Wings, the Kincardine native played five seasons with the Detroit Red Wings and five seasons with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He recorded seven 20-goal seasons in those 10 years, and then duty called. The line of Paul Henderson, Ron Ellis, and Bobby Clark was the only line that played the entire series, and Henderson scored the winning goals in the last three games to lead Canada to victory. Got to the defense, goes right on, going, goal! Henderson, right through and score for Canada! Bergman and Park are playing up, it's back to Henderson, he scores! Good shot! 15 remaining in the second period, here's a loop up for Henderson, right in, Through two periods, the Soviets are shut out, as one familiar line combination secures the team with a three-goal lead. Again, it's Henderson with Clark and Ellis, a touch of magic that could hit an abrupt end. Paul Henderson, cut down by two Soviets, knocked unconscious. From the team doctor's perspective, Henderson's return in this game is out of the question. But from the medical room, he'll hear the Soviets break the shutout and will insist that he's fit to play on. Paul Henderson has returned to the ice for the first time after his injury when he went in the board. Clark makes a long pass to Henderson. He's in the clear. Right in the goal. He scores! Henderson! Ron Clark. That's huge. Set up the lane Now then, Canada coming up. It's going to go! Henderson! Passion transforms like an invisible energy. The Canadian players feel it and have responded with an absolute team effort. Here's a shot! Henderson made a wild stab for Spell. Here's another shot! Right by the score! Henderson! And scores to Canada! Henderson right in front of the net! And the players and the team are going wild! When Paul retired after 18 professional seasons in 1981, he didn't rest on his laurels. He seized the opportunity his Team Canada heroics afforded him and put it to good use. He became active in his Christian community. He became one of Canada's premier motivational speakers. He wrote two books. He founded the Leadership Group in 1984, and he was honored with the 2002 Queen's Jubilee Award for Distinguished Community Service. The mark of an athlete's true greatness is reflected when his legend away from the sport equates with his legend within the sport. Paul Henderson is one of the few whose legend in the community has surpassed his legendary accomplishments on the ice.